Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I am so sorry that it's loud because I'm near the road, but today is bass fishing day and I am at a um, local preserve near my home. I didn't have to go too far today. I said, let's do something different other than crabbing. Um, I did come out here with my neighbors a few weeks ago and I did um, catch some bass out here. So I brought my own kayak. Um, I loaded up my kayak. So I'm gonna show you how I unload it and let's get on out here. from Hurricane Milton I mean the water is so high and I see little tadpoles I see little fishies just right here um, I got my kayak ready to go got my um, bucket right here got my cooler uh, with my drinks and everything got my two fishing poles um, my paddles um, I'm gonna try to walk as far as I can out here um, and then I'll probably have to do the bobsledding or whatever skiing method to get through all this muck. So come along and hopefully we catch some fish today. here. It took a hot minute, but I'm out here. It's so pretty. And there is fish jumping like crazy. I'm sorry that my phone has not focused on me, so I look very light. But uh, yeah, I'll switch it around for you guys. pretty out here. I'm going to get where it's clear at and then I'm going to start throwing my line and see if I can catch anything. But it's super pretty out here. Alright, so I got my fishing pole right here and I am fishing with a topwater bait. Um, I think it's Zoom, Zoom Fluke bait. So I'm going to get that ready to go. My neighbor taught me it last time. So um, yeah, I'm going to start tossing this out. And if I catch something, I'll let you guys know. All right. So, so far I haven't got anything yet. I'm still, you know, trying to catch something, but I've only been out here like 15 minutes. So. We gonna try it a couple hours and hopefully we get something. Still fishing with this. And I got me a hook and bobber, so I'm gonna be tossing that out too. Maybe I can catch something. I just had a bite for the first time. So we're gonna toss it back out there again. See if we can get him because he was, he was pretty strong. I've been out here a good 45 minutes and haven't had no bite. So that was my first bite. I just want to show y'all, you know, me catching a fish. And I want to catch a fish because I want to do a catch, clean, and cook for you guys. So it's, I got to make it happen. So no matter what, I'm going to stay out here for a couple hours. Even if I have to just get one fish, you know, I got to get me something. I would love some fresh, uh, you know, bass to fry. So I'll be back when I get something on the line. Mm -hmm. 
That's suspicious. That's weird. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh God, fish on. Oh, he got off. Oh no, dude, I had fish on. Look at that, look how he messed up my lure. I had fish on guys. God dog it. It's okay. I'm gonna get back out there. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, he's so big. some string in his mouth so this is the biggest bass I have ever caught in my life I'm just trying to get the string to go through his mouth okay just like that maybe a little bit more sorry buddy I'm trying to get you underwater all right so I'm gonna just tie him off, just like this. He ain't gonna go nowhere. Get this out of his mouth. Oh my gosh, his teeth are so big. Okay. Okay, got it. Awesome. Y'all don't laugh at me, but this is my first time, but uh, that's a nice bass. And I'm just gonna take the string through his gills and put him in the water. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. I got it tied tight. And I'm just gonna tie it to my uh, shiitake mushrooms. He's strong too. I'm just gonna tie it to my handle right here so I can just keep him in the water. He's gonna he's gonna pull my kayak, but that's okay. All right. He's good. That's what you call fishing. My first bass. Oh my gosh. I'm just like, I'm just elated how excited I am. So Hopefully I'll catch another one. I am just like so excited. I knew they were back here. I just had to be patient, but uh, he's doing good. I'm pulling him behind the boat, the kayak, <laughs> and I'm trying to get out of here and get back to a different spot so I can continue to fish. Hey, if I just catch two today, cooking queen, that's all I want. All I want is a cooking queen. Catch, cook, and clean. There we go. He is so heavy. It is hard to kayak with this. With him on my boat. On my kayak. But he's doing good. He's doing good. He's still on the string. <laughs> on, fish on. Fish on. Uh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Fish on, guys! Oh my gosh! Nice! 
fish on. How beautiful is that? Oh my gosh! This is so amazing! Oh! Oh, I hate just messing with these things. Oh, I am not a fisherman. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Give me a second, give me a second. All right, I'm gonna take some tissue. There we go. All right, guys, y'all see? I hooked them. If I can get it out. Come on, yeah! Nice! A nice small bass. He is beautiful. Trying to catch one more and I'll be satisfied. I'm gonna give it about another 30 minutes and then I'm gonna start kayaking uh, towards the car. But uh, I just want one more bass and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna do a catch, clean and cook. But it's such a beautiful day out here. There's nobody out here. Nice little preserve pond. So, we gonna see if we catch one more. Yep, I did not catch any more. So, I am heading back to the car so we can go home and clean these bad boys up and deep fry them. We're gonna have some fried bass, some beer batter hush puppies, and some french fries. Can't wait to show you when I get home. One more look out here. And that is a wrap. Hello everyone, I am back at home. Well, I've been back at home since early evening. Um, I just got so hot and so tired out there and the wind started picking up. My arms were so just rubbery from you know just loading the kayak kayaking out there fishing so i called it a day but i am back at home i am about to fillet these big large mouth basses that i caught i am so ecstatic that i caught a nice size two nice size large mouth bass um this one is about 15 and a half inches and he weighed about almost two pounds this one is about 11 inches and he almost weighed a pound. Um, I would show you guys how um, to fillet them, but um, YouTube's algorithm for like mutilating things and you know, gutting things and filleting things are not really hot right now. I don't know what the problem is, but I can't have no, um, I can't have the algorithm push my video somewhere where it just don't belong so anyways i will get back with you guys once i fillet these bad boys um we're gonna do a fish fry right here and then we're gonna do hush puppies with jiffy mix and we're gonna do some french fries which i already cut and they are um soaking in some ice water right now so they can be crunchy um so yeah i'll be back with you once these guys are filleted the filet is done. Um, this was the big guy and this was the small guy and I just took a piece of the cheek out because it was really fatty on the big guy. So this is what they look like. Now let's get ready to get my um, egg and milk mixture and get this fish fry going because I am starving. All right, so we got our fish fry ready to go. I know it's pre-seasoned and everything, but I'm gonna still put a little bit more in there. I'm gonna put some garlic powder, some pap pap, some soul seasoning, if you know, you know. And just a little bit since it's already just, you know, it's already pre-seasoned. And last but not least, some Old Bay. All right, that's it. So I got my egg mixture right here all nice and stirred up and we're gonna start dipping these. Um, I have a rack over the um, plate that I was um, having them on so they can kind of just sit here for a minute until the cast iron skillet gets to 350. So 
so the um, breading could be um, a little bit cakey on there. Oh, I forgot. And I'm gonna add a little bit more Italian breadcrumbs, just for some crunch. All right, let's get these bad boys coated. All right, we're gonna do the dry hand, wet hand method. So this is gonna be wet hand, this is gonna be the dry hand. Put them right here. So this is the um, small one, coated in the mixture. And in the mixture, it's just milk with one egg and some Old Bay. And I'm just gonna, you know, shake it off, shake it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. All right, and then you take your dry hand, make sure it's covered completely and you're just gonna toss it right on here so it can soak in. And then you're just gonna continue with the next one. We got our fish battered and they are beautiful. I'm just gonna let them sit on the counter. And now I'm going to um, go ahead and get my, um, oh my goodness, my hush puppy mix. I'm gonna get that going. I don't drink alcohol. And I was gonna stop by the store today and get me a Budweiser because that's how my parents used to make hush puppies as beer battered hush puppies, but I totally forgot. So I'm gonna just grate up some onion to go in it or cut up some onion to go in it. Um, and then some garlic, a little bit of sugar, and then I'll show you how I mix that um, and get that ready to go so we can go ahead and start dropping in these um, fish. And it should be almost 350, so I'm gonna go check the oil. All right, let's check this oil to see if it's gonna be 350. Still going up, still going up. All right, it's 352, so we're gonna turn it down just a little bit and then we'll get started frying. All right, let's get started with this um, Hush Puppy mix. You're gonna need one box of Jiffy Mix, if I can open it. All right, open it up, pour it in your bowl, and that's the first step. Next, adding your onions. I chopped up some white onions and I put some green onions in there just for color. So go ahead and scoop all these up, put them into the Jiffy batter mix, just like this. And make sure your onions are pretty diced finely. All right, let's go on to the next step. One third cup of milk, whole milk. We don't need that, you know, fat free and skim. Make sure it's whole milk. <laughs> no, we don't play around here. And last but not least, one egg. One large egg. Make sure you don't get no shells in it. And we're gonna start mixing. All right, your hush puppy batter is gonna look like this. We're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna start dropping in our fish. Oh, also, these are my fries. I actually hand cut the fries. Um, I soaked them in some ice cold water with some baking soda and um, I dried them off with a piece of paper towel so they won't like pop in your face. So let's get dropping these fish because I am starving. Start frying these fish. I'm gonna start with the small ones first. Oil should have a nice good sizzle. Definitely do not want these to burn. All right, we'll take them out when they're golden. First batch is done, so let's take out these little bitty nuggets. Don't they look so pretty? They're so beautiful and golden. And I got another wire rack for the grease to drip off them so they can stay crunchy. Oh, these are so beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and put in the big
big boys. Always lay it away from you when they're big like that so it won't splash in your face. And then we're gonna go ahead and do it again. And I'll be back when they're done. While these are cooking still, I'm gonna go ahead and start scooping up some um, hush puppies. I'm just gonna use like a tablespoon right here and just put it in, just like that. I just sprayed um, the inside of the spoon so it won't stick so much with some oil. And I'm just gonna drop these bad boys. Cause when I say I is hungry, I is hungry. I always wait till late at night to start cooking. But it's my therapy, so what can I say? Oh my goodness, this house smells amazing. Like you would just love it. <laughs> All right, it is time to take these bad boys out. So I'm just gonna use some tongs because they're pretty heavy. Oh my goodness, kind of drain some of the oil off. These smell amazing. Look how beautiful and golden that is. All right, and then the second one, kind of scooch him out, lift it, just like that. Bring the access off. And there you go. Just perfect, perfect, perfect. Now it's time to flip these bad boys. These are starting to get golden brown. And we're gonna go ahead and put some more of the batter in. No. Not trying to overcrowd the pan or anything like that. All right, let me see if I can kind of shimmy these to the side just a little bit. All right. See how many scoops I can put in here. All right, it's the last scoop. All right. I will be back once all the hush puppies are done. All right. The hush puppies are done. Look how beautiful and golden they are. Now I'm about to put in the french fries. Ooh, these are gonna be good. I love homemade french fries. Nothing beats it. Steam. There we go. All right, you're gonna kind of smush them around. And once these get done, it'll be time for plating. It's that time. The french fries are nice and golden, as you can see. Just gonna line them up on a on a rack, let them drip a little bit, and then I'm gonna season them with some uh, soul seasoning and some garlic powder. But I am super ecstatic to be eating. I am so hungry. There's no better way to cook french fries or fish than a cast iron skillet. Cast iron skillets are just goat. It just holds its heat. It cooks really well. It's just really good. I season my french fries with some garlic and some sole seasoning. And I put my fish in the oven on 170 just to keep them warm until I'm done cooking. So yeah, sprinkle the garlic on there. And it's time to plate.
I have plated my food and those are the hush puppies, which smell amazing. The largemouth bass today and the homemade french fries. And then I got a cup of ketchup, of course, for my french fries. And then I made a sour cream dill lemon garlic aioli for my uh, fish. Um, I'm just not a hot sauce person. I don't put hot sauce on chicken. I don't put hot sauce on eggs. I don't put hot sauce on fish. No, give me something creamy. I like I like aiolis. Um, but anyways, that's it for today. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. I am exhausted. I'm hungry. I am starving. So I am going to get off of here and grub. Um, I am excited to try. All right. Since I'm already on hand, let's just try a little bitty piece. Oh, you see that smoke? Yeah. Mmm. I haven't had large mouth bass in so long. Maybe. Maybe about seven or eight years. And I'm so excited that I can literally just go down the road, not even 10 miles, and go to the preserve and go fish for largemouth bass. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, love it. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you once again for everybody's support. If you have not yet liked and subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Why haven't you subscribed? You keep watching me, you know you want to. It helps me, it helps the algorithm, it helps everybody see my videos. And it shows that you can be solo and still, you know, catch fish. And be a female at that, and on a kayak. Avers took me a couple weeks ago fishing on a kayak. It's kind of difficult, but I manage. So, like I said, if you have not yet liked and subscribed to the channel, please do so. And I am hungry. I'm getting off of here. Hope you guys have a nice week and I will see you on the next adventure.